quick video about how to fall off a roof and have a hive full of bees fall off on top of you. I'm going to try not to do that. What I'm going to talk about is winterizing a Kenya top bar hive. I see a drone there. And that's the entrance to my Kenya top bar hive, which, as you will see in a moment, I have perched up on top of my roof. I don't know how well the perspective you'll be getting is from up here, but you see it's a roof. I put it up on the roof for a couple of reasons. I suspect that one of my neighbors may have poisoned one of my beehives in a previous season. I don't know, maybe they're allergic. Who knows why people might do such a thing. But anyway, uh, to give the hive a little better protection, I've uh, brought it up here on the roof and it seems to be doing quite well. It's got a little bit of shade from this cherry tree up here on the roof. Gets good early morning sun. It's a pretty good spot. So uh, you, can, you can see that uh, I don't cut the ends of my Kenya top bar hives in a trapezoidal shape um, because of the dimensions of lumber that I was able to scrounge. Uh, I made the ends out of two smaller pieces and kept them rectangular and used that to use that rectangularity to add a little extra support to the uh, stretcher handles that uh, I put on the uh, box which makes it a little easier to carry carry if it were uh, if this hive were hanging in a tree then or elsewhere from a couple of posts uh, if you were to take a top bar out you could uh, hang that top bar uh, across the stretcher handles and uh, that would give you a handy place to, to set it down while you're manipulating the hive but uh, up here not quite as useful in that context so what I've done here is cut a sheet of polystyrene styrofoam to uh, fit against the body of the hive and I've uh, loosened off the uh, stretcher handles a bit so I can just slide it on in there like so and then I'm just going to take a hammer and pound it up, pound it, the stretcher handles back in so now I just got my polystyrene against the hive I'm just going to pound that nail back in be simpler See here, I've cut a little entrance. Just a bit over the entrance of the hive. Slide that be down in there. There you go. Pound the nail back in there. Pound the nail back in there. That side's done. Okay, cut a piece for the side here. And now I'm just going to put it in with a screw because I'm going to want to take these out in the springtime. And I don't have any large headed nails at the moment. And there's the final result. All ready for winter. Oh, I hope that's not copyright infringement. Um, we see a little wildlife wildlife drama. We see a yellow jacket attacking a drone which has been expelled from the hive as the hive prepares for the winter dearth period. The yellow jacket is taking advantage of that to uh, get a bit of a meal. Seems to be sawing off the Seems to be sawing off the head of the drone. And since I hate yellow jackets, and I don't want them homing in on my... Oh, check it out. He's defending themselves, but I'll help him out here. Well, here you can see that poor little drone. His head nearly twisted off by that yellow jacket. Uh, but it serves to point out the 
very large eyes of the drone, almost looking like ski goggles. The better to see Virgin Queens when they are off on their nuptial mating flights. You also see the the abdomen of the drone is a little rounder than that of than that of workers. There's a shot of a worker and a and the drone side by side just for comparison. Thank you.